All right, Antonio's got the brakes going, something he's never done before. Now he's gonna practice good and tight, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What's good and tight? It's more than snug, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, that looks good and tight. I'll do the other one. We're getting there. We've already done the ball joint, that's tight. Caliper brackets, everything. You just have to hook that brake line back up to there. And I think we're about done because the strut's already tightened up there. Jeff uh, went ahead and is helping Antonio up here with the struts for the tops. Ah! And you're supposed to keep your fingers out between the rock and the hard place. Uh, sway bar links are tight, so we're just going to put this brake line up there. How did that go in there, Antonio? How did that fit in there? Like this? Well, you got that all wrapped around. What'd you do here? Mm, I have no idea. Like this? I don't know what you, you got your whole caliper screwed up. Mm. Real quick, we got the struts in there. Antonio's got everything snug and tight. I've double checked all the bolt connections for him. Uh, brakes are in. Brake lines are all hooked back up, and uh, I think we're ready to put the wheel back on this here after we get uh, the other strut done and brake done. Then we could tighten up the LCA bolts and uh, torque them to spec, and that'll be it. As soon as Antonio gets over there and starts working on the other brake. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's two front wheels on this car. Oh, no, I want a three-wheeler. Give me a three-wheeler. There's two no, front wheels. I want a three-wheeler. <laughs> Get hot. Look at this. See, you got nothing done. I thought Jeff was gonna do all this. Nothing <laughs> done. Get hot. <laughs> what are you doing, Antonio? You putting the last tire on the front? Hey, what'd you get done? Wait. Struts? Wait, this is... Wow. I think this might be too low. Uh, Not too low. Just got to get it on there. Yeah, see, look, it's too low. Nah. It'll fit. At least <laughs> Why does it need to be jacked up? It didn't go down anywhere. All right, put that last wheel on, then we're going to drop her down after we do a bit of cleanup. And uh, we're going to put the weight on the front end. We're going to lift her and we're going to do the torque on the uh, horizontal and vertical bolts to finalize this job. And then we'll move to the back of it, I guess. Oh, that? the carnage is real. I haven't had it, but a, couple, a few months. His brakes turned out to be in great shape, so we're not doing brake job. But we are doing shocks, and he's putting some uh, KYBs on there. So I got him down on the ground. Hey, Antonio, how's that shock thing treating you? These rear rotors look ventilated. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. See, I didn't they check. The, they got the slot. Look at it. They're slotted. Yeah, by golly, they are. I, I thought they were normally solid in the back. They normally are, but then again, you got. A 2008 with that uh, emergency brake there. With oh, you talking about with the uh, this? Yeah, you got a different brake. Yeah. You got a drum brake for emergency yeah, and brake. And yours, basically, what yours does it, it clips down, right? Yeah, Isn't mine uses the actual rope caliper. That's what I thought they did actually. I didn't know how to use the drum. I thought all of them used the rear caliper. You don't know we're not going to get these shocks changed the more you talk, right? <laughs> I'm supposed to be commenting on what you're doing. You got that tight yet? Not yet. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for some time. You know, I don't want to be like 60 years old when you get done working on his head. Okay, now. What is it? So, wait a second. Yeah. We got this one out. He's going to work on that. But anyway, I'll catch up to you all later once we get our back and forth done here. <laughs> Say goodbye, Antonio. You got her done, Antonio? Yep. Got a new shock on? Oh, yeah. All right, now I just got to take and put your tires back on. Use the little impact to do it. That way you don't put them on at 600 foot pounds of torque. Oh! <laughs> like you did the last ones. Oh, God. Okay? So, 
get the uh, get the tires on it. Get your first get your rear end put back together for all this stuff you got to do in here. I got the shocks and the quarter panels put back together for you, so you can do the rest. Oh man! All right. All right. Okay. Get hot. Turn two, as the Navy said. Well, I'm I'm just gonna show you on this one. You can do that. But you bring it down. See how the lights get ready. As soon as it gets to green, you let off. You're good to go. But did you also hear it? And then you'll feel a vibration. So you don't even have to look at it. You can actually just. Go by the sound and feel. Wow. So there you go. All right, let's see. Let's see if he can do it. I might have to aim it downward and then pull to the left. Well, can you get it on that way? You got to hold the end there, Antonio. Yeah, you got to go clearly. Antonio, the end of the handle. And do it gradually, don't yank on it. That's pretty gradually. Nope, no, no. Remember? No, you gotta cross it. Cross. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Might have to bring it it's back a up. Yeah, there you go. It's a ratchet. You can bring it up if you have to. Oh. No. no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, No. Nope. We're doing a star, so now we're. No. 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 Yep. <laughs> this is like walk on with you, isn't it? I thought I did that one already. Oh. There you go. Now where's one more. <laughs> Last one. Yay! Yeah. So, we have the rear shocks done in Antonio's car. We got uh, the wheels on there. Antonio's torqued them. And uh, guess what we're going to do? We're going to be working on plugs and coils. Right, Antonio? Yep, that's right. That's right. That's what we're going to be working on next. Uh, this is a... This is a two-day event, folks. So uh, we're getting there. Antonio, you learned a lot. That's what I got to ask you. Have you learned anything? I've learned so much, man. I think I can honestly do everything that you all did pretty much by myself at this point. Yeah, well, that torquing, you were pretty quick on that towards the end, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. towards the end, yeah. Yeah, so now you know how to do brakes, right? Yeah. And now you know how to do shocks and struts because you did them. Mm -hmm. Now it comes down to tools, right? Yeah. <laughs> Having the right tools and everything definitely plays in. So anyway, uh, this is going to continue. We're not done yet. So we'll be back at you all here in just a second as we continue this saga of Antonio's edge overhaul for the better choice of words. Hey folks, I just want to say that uh, uh, Jeff and his wife are very good hosts for this whole thing. Uh, and thanks for the dinner. Holy cow, Jeff. That was really good. And uh, helping out Antonio. Uh, hey, it's much appreciated. And you guys couldn't find better people than uh, Jeff and his wife. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely helped. But right now, we're going to start doing something. Now we're going to start taking in, removing everything. So we can get at this uh, back plugs here, change these spark plugs out, and this should finalize a couple things other than some, than some fluid changes. So Antonio is going to get started on this by starting out, and we all know plugs. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is, Antonio, but a C-clamp holding the air box on. Interesting enough. you got to love the modifications. <laughs> anyway, 
C-clap aside, we're just going to start taking everything apart and uh, getting it going. And we're working here tonight. It's probably 8 o'clock or so, I think. But uh, we're going to do what we can tonight here and then hit it up first thing in the morning and uh, get this thing out and running. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and I'll show you a couple stages as we get through it. All right. This is what Antonio's... Ford edge looks like inside. Holy cow. Check that stuff out. Look at that mess. Holy cow. Anyway. That's the Antonio mess. Right there. Now we gotta get coils out and plugs. And what are you doing, Antonio? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're cleaning all the oil and gunk out of that intake. This thing will probably get a million miles per gallon now. <laughs> you think this will stop in the fuel economy? No. It ain't gonna help it. <laughs> But it ain't gonna necessarily hurt it, but it does pay to clean it out. Look how brown and nasty that is when mm -hmm. it's coming out. Man. So it pays to run that through. That that throttle body cleaner will dry and uh it'll be like it was never there. So it's not a big deal. And this is the throttle body. We're going to start selling mushrooms that we grow in here. Uh, they'll be uh, $4.99 a pound. <laughs> That's all nasty. All right. Antonio's taking the plugs out. He's still messing with his phone, but maybe he'll get I got this a job fiance. done. She can wait. No, she can. Tell no, her that. She can. She and can she wait. Might. Oh, look at that brake booster. It's probably about to fail next. Yeah, let's just concentrate on the plugs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the verdict on this piece? It's getting cleaner, slowly. Still got some brown goo coming out, huh? A little bit. Yeah, must Pretty be from all those those high high octane <laughs> speed runs from Antonio. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably go to use the. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll get her done. You should be able to do at least a 40 second quarter mile with this thing when you're done. <laughs> we'll time you with a set with a sundial. This thing does well, not want to come out. Like, we have to take the intake out. Huh? Come out. on, get that coil out of there. Oh, Don't treat that like your friend. Come on, let's pull it out. I said twist it. Twist it, shout. Oh. There you go. See? Twist it. Now we got some spark plugs with blue paint on the tips. I wonder what that means. Could it be original plugs? I'm betting yes. Now Antonio's going to try to pull spark plugs out without breaking them off inside the engine. No, I... Oh. So, what was the condition of those plugs? Well, they started out at 15,000, so near an excess of 18,000. So, what does that mean? That means you had an excess of that. Mm -hmm. You actually were, were, had to eat the entire iridium dome off with the, the needle mm -hmm. off of the dome of the plug. There was no needle left. So, the big, huge misfire was just a matter of time? Well, the coil's got to generate enough current to jump that gap, you know? Well, imagine the gap is suddenly twice as wide. 
but now twice as much power. Which means you're lucky you didn't fry your foil gun during the Yeah, that's the only thing about it. Was it was it was See, because even with the bins, I was able to replace the foil and it didn't fry no PC or nothing. Or no, sand was because it was built. Yeah. These stupid things here fry the PC or something. Why well, did they change it? They see the longer here? No. After 2008, they changed the PCM. So the cold drivers were separating uh, for it and also isolating the better. So, like my fiance is uh, hers wouldn't fry so the PCM? Earlier what years of hers. No, hers won't fry the PCM. But mine will? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the coils that. Coil, coils overload the coil drivers on the PCM. What? Wow. That is wow. stupid. So, so you had that happen to this car? That's mm -hmm. why you had it, huh? No. Never had to have it. Why they said this is going to be sound? No. You just pulled it out to test it. Test it the other one. And uh, pull the next one out. That looks huge. Oh my gosh. That's going to be right to the end, isn't it? Close to. It's just 76. Jeepers. It's at 76. That's still bad. Because all the new ones are at what, 50? All right. Yes. Oh, crap. This is it, folks. We got it all put out, put together. We got to get going. We're calling it a night. So uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Right. Testing Antonio's car here. We'll see what's going to happen. All right. <laughs> oh man. How smooth and quiet it is, huh? Uh huh. Oh man, wish it did a burnout. <laughs> Alright, folks. We got Antonio here in his 2008 Edge. And we, I took him, uh, did a test drive with it and the suspension and everything, working good. Okay. Your brakes work decent. You're not going to stop on a dime, but, you know, it's just run of the mill brakes, so you're going to stop when you need to stop. Uh, engine RPM, everything was perfect. Suspension feels nice and stiff. Your steering, we're getting to the bad part now. Your steering, is wrong. There is something wrong with your steering because you can't. It's always correcting itself. Something ain't right in your, your, your steering. Yeah, I had to work. In comparison to my 2011, I was constantly adjusting. So you see why I was swerving? Yeah. It might be I can see why you're swerving. I thought, I thought it was me at first. Uh, the <laughs> other thing, and most notably, is uh, your transmission is shot. It flares up a thousand or more RPM going into third gear. And then when it goes to the other gears, it lingers and doesn't shift. Your, your transmission is this direction, buddy. Right? And there ain't no amount of fluid changes you're going to do to fix this problem. Because it is all internal. You've got Either your valve body, solenoid's going bad, or your torque converter is burnt out and going out. So your transmission is shot. So I started saving my money for a new transmission. The engine seems all right, but we got to do an oil test to see where it is. I'll see if we can get a container. I'll pay for the oil test, but I suspect high metal weight, which ain't good for the engine either. So, overall, it ain't going to last you long. That's the best I can do for you. 
drive it carefully and easily. Does that flare? Every time it flares up that thousand, it's slamming those gears. And it's just creating more wear. It's like pounding a hammer in your gears. It's not going to last long at that rate. Every time you drive it and it does that, it's every time it's creating more damage. Did you notice the like, shutter? No shutter, slamming in the gears. So you didn't notice the shutter? No. So what is that feel? There's no shutter in it. What? I felt absolutely zero shutter. No shutter? Maybe because the spark plugs were changed. You probably had misfires. Oh. So, so your that biggest problem is now is your transmission. I felt absolutely no shutters. Wow. But your transmission is definitely got, like I said, a bad valve body, solenoid body's bad, or torque converter's going out. But either way, it's a costly repair. Very costly. And every time this line's in the gear, and it's not TSSOS that this time. I know what that is. That's not what the problem is. So, anyway folks, we got everything done. We're going to change the oil in it. We're going to basically uh, then have Antonio follow me back to Davenport. At least I know he made it that far. <laughs> and then we'll just go from there. But we're going to change the oil and uh, finish up what we're doing. Now, you may not get home. All right, Antonio's going to change his oil. We're just going to watch and drink coffee. It's all on Antonio this time. All right. Uh, hold on a second, Antonio. Get over here. Do you have the ratchet on loose? Well, once yeah. you start loosening all I it. All you do is break the torque on it. Okay. Come down here. We got some leverage. Make sure it's good on good and solid. Don't strip it. Yeah. Okay. Just just hear it pop. Just crack it open. They probably did somebody else change this before. Oh. Yeah. They push on it. Tighten that thing harder than uh, uh, crap. This. It'll, nope. Keep it'll doing. Going. There you go. A little bit more. You want to be able to finger, loosen it with okay, your fingers. Okay, now we can start getting the pan under here. All right. Let me change the lighting. No, you'll have to get the wrench on it again for a bit. I will? Yeah, there it's you know. too hard yet. You got to get it so you can loosen it with your fingers. Oh, okay. I never do that. I can't believe I'm changing my own oil. That feels you, like it's, yeah, okay, it's loose now, already. Yeah, now I'll take the wrench. It's loose. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just let it drop in the, in the pan, okay? Just drop the boat Just in the pan? Just unscrew it until it Just let it, right. unscrew it and let it drop in the pan. Okay. And then, don't leave your hand over the pan, because okay. it's going to be full it's, of, your gloves will be covered with oil. So just move quickly with my hand? Yeah. Okay. As soon as it... As How long is this boat? Is getting it? close. Alright, ready oh, to move? Yeah. Ready to move? Just drop it from your hand. Don't, hey, I said, leave your hand over the pan. Oh, leave it over. Quick, get the oil off your glove. Oh, I see, wait, okay. Oh, man, who oh, God. That'll be good. I've never done this before. <laughs> there. So, oil in your eyes is a good thing? You get oil in your eyes? No, no, I, I'm. On your glasses? I was hoping it didn't get mine, so I was just wiping it with the clean part mm. of the thing. Okay. It, oh. It's better if you release the oil plug with your mouth open. That way when it splashes, it goes directly in your mouth. <laughs> do, you, do you tell a lot about your engine that way? Yeah. Do you How taste it tastes. copper? Do you taste... Yeah. It's like an oil test. Now, what does this thing here? That's what's bad. Oh, God. I figured... Yeah. Just, well, don't worry. A new transmission, brand new, is only three thousand five hundred dollars. Is it really a new one? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Is, that, is that a remanufactured? Probably. Uh, no. I think it's a brand new. It might wow. be. Remanufactured might be you about twenty five hundred. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell them to build a uh, build trail. <laughs> yeah. well, you, you can try it. See how far it gets you. Hey, did you get your glove all wiped off? Because I always you to get on yeah. your shirt. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. so you how many people child, does it take to change the oil? It's going to take a while. Wait, it's already drained, right? Or is yeah, that not enough? Let's just go eat. We'll okay. let it drain till it drips. I okay. Gotta, All right. We're done here. So what kind of oil level we got on this thing? It was at five. Five and a half quarts, right? Yeah. And the mark came up a half quart low. So six so quarts. So we should be good. Look at that. 
perfect right there top of the that head. was just five and a half right five and a half had brought up here then it then he added another half quart so now we're right there at the top of the hash marks all right so almost six quarts yeah and it runs and everything right uh yes <laughs> the antonio mobile <laughs> what are you doing back here i gotta tuck this underneath for the cup holders oh oh yeah well, i can't do a live because my phone's dead so yeah. You uh, in, somewhere then, Bill? in my car, yeah. Right, you go? All the dead soldiers for the uh, for the parts, leaving a big mess, aren't you, Antonio? <laughs> Oil changed, all the boxes. You could get, get get your sway bar links too, right? Oh yeah, I got those. Okay. So we're all set. You know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank more you than, for helping. You're more than welcome. Come uh, back again. Oh, I plan on it. We want, yeah, you know, it was fun. Just got a PTU over here in the corner and a new, new steering rack. Maybe yep. uh, this summer, I might be helping him uh, with his 2007, right? Yes. Uh, steering rack and a PTU replacement. You never know. That would be great. I don't know, Antonio. Start this up to let everybody know it actually runs. And that'll close it all out. There you go, folks. Everything's done. That being said, let's end this. All right, folks, this is Mac T in Jeff and Antonio. And uh, guess what? This is the end of the video. It was quite an ordeal, but we got it done. Antonio was drinking from the fire hose as far as the learning goes, but uh, I think he made it. He learned something, and that's always better than nothing. Anyway, uh, hey, like, subscribe, join. Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook and also YouTube. Remember, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day, too. And remember, Band of One's got some great music along with Mercy Girls one-liners. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.